Beyond 5.5 has tons of new major additions, but to help keep you up to date on what else has been changed and been added, we have these extra editions quick hints. Use the chapters below to find the specific topic or watch the whole thing. Beyond now supports Ableton Link. This allows for Ableton Link enabled devices to transmit BPM as well as which beat of the bar it is directly into the system BPM of Beyond. To enable Ableton Link, right click on the system BPM button and enable Ableton Link. If a feed is readable over the network, it will inject the BPM into the system BPM. Beyond will automatically search all network adapters for an Ableton Link stream. This feature is available in QuickShow as well as all Beyond versions. Beyond now has NDI input. Utilize NDI as your video feed for video to recolor effects, real-time video tracer, and color channels. No need for an external tool to take NDI and convert it into a webcam with direct access. Available in Ultimate. When adding zones within the Projection Zones window in Beyond 5.5, you will notice a new Add Projection Zones window. This allows you to create many zones all at once, as well as directly assign prefixes and auto-assign projector numbers. Separate them by pressing Enter. Each line will be a different zone. You can also assign Visualizer and delete all zone names before adding them. Once you are happy with your names, you can click Add. If they were added incorrectly, you can undo right away and redo it. This should speed up your zone building nicely. For users of the groups operation style for live control, you will love that you can now manually select which group you want to output to in the preview window. This will ignore the predefined groups in the workspace. If you'd like to go back, just click on the manual M button to go back to the default group selection methods within the group's live control scheme. The quick DMX function is a very useful and simple tool. However, it does lend itself to being quite tedious if you need to do more than just a few channels. To improve this experience, 5.5 has added a command line system. Click on the command line button to reveal it. All commands are on screen, but some examples may be using the set command to select channels 1 to 10 and using the to command to create a fade up between values 0 to 255. Examples and commands are on screen and can be found on the wiki link for this info. Beyond has historically utilized a TCP communication protocol to communicate between Beyond and FB4s. This has been fine until it hasn't. For the sake of different people's setups and needs, Beyond now allows users to select between TCP and UDP to test on their setup. In theory, the UDP stream is much more efficient, but it's new and hasn't been utilized for years all around the world, so for now we're giving users the option to switch between them. Default will be TCP. The blue colored button is TCP and the yellow is UDP, which is also known for fun as turbo mode. And finally, if the last topic about TCP versus UDP hasn't made any sense to you, we want to also mention a brand new and very detailed piece of documentation about networking for lasers and entertainment, discussions about protocols and how to set up your PC for success. It's called Networking for Laser Shows Beyond Entertainment, and it's on the wiki now. If you have experienced the dreaded purple FP4 and would like to understand what that means, why it happens, and how you can get rid of it, read the document. Thanks for watching our Quickens video on smaller additions to Beyond 5.5. If you have any questions or need help, feel free to email support at pangolin.com or check out the wiki documentation for all these topics by going to wiki.pangolin.com.